Hello everyone. So today I received this uh, notification about a post on the community and uh, this is of course very interesting post and uh, I thought uh, I will make uh, a video especially on this post. And this post is all about uh, renaming Apex in your uh, company managed projects. Now I will show you this post, of course, you know, along with the link, so you can take a look at uh, what all uh, this post is all about. But the main thing here is that in Jira we have this concept of uh, this hierarchy of uh, epic stories and subtask, and uh, if you are using advanced roadmaps in the premium version, then uh, you may have other levels on top of it, like uh, initiatives, maybe features. But usually when you're talking about uh, implementing safe, you are limited by this level at the very bottom, basically epic stories and subtasks. Many people want to rename epics to maybe features and they want to have uh, one more level above feature, which is called as epic and then above epic they may have initiative but what you can do now as per this post oh, by the way i have no i've not really tried it but i will probably try on my free jira cloud instance so what they're saying is what uh, rohan swami is saying rohan is the product manager for uh, i don't really oh let me take a look at the profile because you know it is always really interesting to know so rohan is the product manager of jira software okay so if uh, if Rohan is saying, I mean, if the product manager is saying that you can rename Apex, then I guess uh, we have to try it, definitely try it because this is an interesting feature, feature and this has never, I mean, this was of course now a very popular demand from customers. Now, if you look at the post, what Rohan is saying here that uh, if you are using advanced roadmap, you can go to the hierarchy, you can rename your hierarchy level name and map those issue types. And what, what Rohan is saying that you can also rename the epic, the issue type. But when you rename this epic issue type, this renaming will affect, will affect uh, different things like, you know, when you're looking at the backlog on top, it will say somewhere features. And uh, uh, when you are also looking at your, uh, I mean, uh, the the epic color on the board and the backlog will now use epic issue color and uh, and al along with that i believe uh, what uh, will happen is uh, when you're looking at the issue view so it says here we are currently we are improving the way you associate epics with your bugs stories and tasks in the issue view currently this is done via epic link so we have this epic link which will which is nothing but a link to the epic when you're looking at maybe stories and uh, bugs and uh, we'll soon be replacing this uh, with a new feature called add parent okay and uh, what i mean i'll not really go through each and everything but what they are saying is what rohan is, rohan is saying here here is that if you're using epic link then you have to basically migrate your links to maybe uh, this new um, add i mean they will I, I don't know whether they will do it for the existing epic links or uh, we have to do we have to do it ourselves but uh, we have to, of course, you know, spend some time and also look at uh, this link where they are talking about maintain epic link data for issues above the epic level. So uh, I guess there is some uh, migration involved here, but uh, I'm mainly interested today in uh, trying it out. So first of all, let us take a look, look at one project where uh, I have epics and uh, some issues under it. So this is my my roadmap where I can see on top it says epic and uh, if I go to the backlog view it says here epics and uh, these are my epics I, I'll probably open one of the epic here or maybe just open one of the issue where I have uh, epic link by the way so if you open let us say one of your story you will find here uh, the um, epic link which is basically the field that uh, Atlassian is talking about in this particular post and I guess this will be replaced with something else 
let us see how it how, how it goes i mean um, i'll of course keep on exploring it but today i thought i'll probably test the renaming part so let me go to the issues and issue types and then i will click on the edit and uh, what shall we do shall we rename it to feature yeah let us try feature because feature makes sense and uh, update let us see i mean okay it says feature here and uh, it is also saying here type as uh, epic but i may want to also take a look at the board i don't really think the uh, renaming will have this change reflected everywhere so i can see here that uh, now my epics are oh no i mean my epics are still here so not nothing really changed this is of course a bit weird and uh, i'll probably go back and take a look at the post so what uh, rohan is saying here is that you can uh, oh so basically uh, for the renaming part i was trying to follow the follow the documentation so i guess uh, this will i mean i just did the same thing uh, once you change the epic level name head over to issue types okay so we have to also change the issue level but we don't really have issue level because uh, i'm not really using advanced roadmaps i'm not really on the plan the premium plan but what they are saying here here is that manage issue hierarchy in your admin settings issue hierarchy configuration will soon soon have a new home in the in, in a new home in global jira admin settings this means that the teams using free and standard jira will now have the ability to manage their issue hierarchy up to the epic level okay so basically this will be a new feature which i don't have right now i don't really have any hierarchy here let me open my other jira instance where uh, i may have this may because usually these changes are not always uh, consistent uh, i mean it can vary from one in one one cloud instance to another cloud instance so if if i open one of my other jira instance i, I still don't really have uh, any issue hierarchy option here which is fine i mean uh, i'll probably wait for a uh, couple of days and uh, because it says here that uh, this means that teams using free and standard jira will now have the ability to manage their issues so uh, basically it says here will now have the ability and on top it says will soon have a new home and uh, the next line says uh, you will be able to access so i'm not really sure whether they are talking about uh, you know that this has been done or this will be coming upcoming feature but i guess uh, i i guess it will come i mean based on uh, this particular post i i guess uh, we'll have a new option here called uh, issue hierarchy and uh, we can then rename uh, i mean first rename the level then of course rename the issue type but of course right now i was trying to rename the epic which i thought will work but uh, no it is still behaving like an epic and if i open one of the issue i guess uh, this issue is also still uh, using the epic link and i'm not really sure whether this will this epic link to parent thing transition will happen on, on its own or we have to do it i guess we have to do it at slash won't do it but uh, good to know so no it still says epic link and uh, there will be a new option here called uh, i guess parent add a parent which is of course uh, not really here in my instance so let us see what this uh, i mean when this change will happen i'll probably rename this back to epic uh, although this particular jira instance i use it only for demonstration purpose but um we'll try it again after a couple of days i'll i'll keep an eye on this but again this is a good, this is a good news i think this was definitely needed for a long time epic story subtask hierarchy was uh, uh there and people organizations were complaining about it but i guess now it lashan is uh, is going to let you 
rename Apex, which is, in my opinion, I think a, a good move. So that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.